Hey guys, what is going on? It's Epic Video Master here, and it's time for an big updates coming to the game. Uh, this is the um, firepower update, and it's really fantastic. Now, make sure before you watch this video, you hit the big subscribe button. There should be one on the screen, and also if it's not there, if you're on your phone, just make sure you head over to the channel and hit it there. And anyway, before, so this video I'm going to be explaining in full detail what's going on with this update. I'm going to be covering everything. And um, also, but before I go through and give my analysis of it, I want, I'm going to play this quick little five minute um, official trailer for this update. And MapleSoy does a really good job of explaining some of the things first. So uh, watch this little trailer here. And then afterwards, I'm going to explain everything about the update that they didn't explain in the trailer. So basically, you guys will get full coverage of this, of the update. So don't worry. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Here is the trailer. Hello, Maplers. Welcome to the Guide for Firepower, MapleStory's hottest new update. Firepower is filled not only with new areas to explore and updates to existing content, but also with cool rewards and achievements. First, let's get things warmed up with the Firepower event. In the Firepower event, players will be placed in two categories, Icy Agents and Hot Agents. If the last time you played MapleStory was before June 1st, 2015, you're an icy agent. Any new players who join MapleStory after July 8th, 2015 will be categorized as icy agents as well. As for all other players, you're deemed hot agents. Both icy and hot agents receive special titles and items, but you will need to work together to get even more. Hot agents can give icy agents special stat buffs. And as a reward for buffing their icy comrades, hot agents will receive a prize box. For an extra bonus, Icy and Hot Agents can also pick a buddy from their friends list to become best friends with. Picking a best friend will earn you special Firepower coins that can be spent in the Firepower Coin Shop. The Firepower Coin Shop contains a variety of chairs, mounts, scrolls, and more. In short, when Icy becomes besties with Hot, everyone wins. Lastly, select one of your characters under level 100 to be your special burning character. Each time a burning character levels up, it receives two additional level ups until it reaches level 100. That's just the tip of the melting iceberg, as burning characters will also receive additional benefits all summer long, including the chance to earn more firepower coins. So hop in game with those low level characters and beef them up firepower style. School may be out for the summer, but you can still crank fun up to 11 with the brand new sixth chapter of Friend Story Rock and Roll. When a new student arrives at Shinsu International School with a rock virus, the spirit of rock and roll becomes infectious as students are compelled to scream, play air guitar, and act like rebellious rock stars. You'll have to help Irina and the other students stand up to the rock virus with their own powerful music by performing at the school festival. Take part in a mini game in which you'll join Irina's band and show off your rockin' guitar skills. Once you've played through all six chapters, you'll have the option to reset your progression and play through the story again. Doing so will allow you to earn special rewards, as well as experience alternate endings. In the epic conclusion of Black Heaven, Gelimer's warship crashed near Edelstein. Now players level 190 and above can explore the crash site and discover why it's called the Scrapyard. Complete daily quests there and take on Lotus in normal mode. You'll also be able to earn an item brand new to MapleStory, Energy Cores. Energy Cores can be exchanged for Absolab coins. Use Absolab coins to buy level 160 Absolute Lab set equipment and weapons. This is some of the strongest gear you'll find in MapleStory. And for those of you seeking a tougher challenge, it's time to venture into Blackgate. This treacherous new area has been invaded by five fierce demons. Attila is a vicious demon that lives up to its namesake by relentlessly and mercilessly attacking any player that dares cross its path. Aragami is a vengeful spirit that will cut you down to size with its razor-sharp sickle. Butcher's primitive appearance is matched only by its brutality. Khan is swift as a horse, 
and will call in backup to help seal your doom. And Asura was once a charitable god, but now has become a ruthless demon that attacks with fire, water, and light. Each of these monsters will test your metal like never before, so take up arms and get ready to perform a demonic exorcism, maple style. This update also adds two new mini-games to Star Planet. With The Legend's Return, players compete three-on-three -three in a PvP-style brawl. Each player selects an avatar and receives five skills they can use. Avatars can grow and level up by defeating monsters or opposing players. Whoever receives the most points at the end of the battle wins. And with Supernatural Ute, players receive a Ute power that only affects them, and a Peace power, which can affect the opposing player. Strategically use the special powers before you toss the Ute to give your game an added challenge. For more information on this update and the latest MapleStory news and events, go to maplestory.nexon.net. There are many more cool surprises waiting to make your summer sizzle. So go get your hands on some firepower, Maplers. All right, so the first thing I'd like to talk about is the Black Gate City. Now, you have to be level 100 to go here, and there's a portal to another dimension has opened, and a strange demons are spilling into Black Gate City. Players level 100 and above can travel to this new area through Dimensional Mirror, help set up the defense line, and fight back against invasion alongside the Night Angels. Okay, I'm not going to read all that, but basically, you can see how to participate there, and it seems like just another mini little theme area, kind of like the Root Abyss uh, type bosses. So that'll be good. Um, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about a better Maple update. Now, this is probably one of the biggest highlights of this big update. Personally, for me, I see it's like... Okay, so there's a new damage skin and a new uh, damage skin system and some UI changes. Um, but uh, there's, there's a, now there's a thing that tells you when your reward thing's full, uh, your, how many maple reward points you can get in a day, it tells you when that's full. And uh, also saving damage skins is free, however it will cost you 100k mesos to apply a save damage skin. So you can save them but you have to pay to apply them, which is I, it's a little bit of an odd choice, uh, but yeah. This, however, is probably the best part of this update in my opinion personally. There's a part of the A Better Maple part. This is what I'm excited for. There is now an NPC in most towns called, named Matilda who is gonna sell AP and SP resets, teleport rocks, buff freezers, safety charms, and respawn tokens for uh, AP and SP resets scroll of seven million mesos. So finally, finally, after years and years of waiting, we can actually use mesos to get AP and SP reset scrolls. Limit one per day, seven day duration. Meaning, but you can just use it, right? Um, but um, it's 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 been a while, and we've been waiting. And finally, Maple Story has done that for us. So that's probably my favorite part of this update right here is the fact that you can buy AP and SP reset scrolls for seven seven mil. So that's that's probably my uh, favorite hi highlight of this update. All right, so like with any event, uh, comes an attendance check. So the attendance ch check actually starts today, so make sure after you watch this video, you go and you accept it and you hunt 300 monsters within your level range, get your stamp, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show the rewards right now. Um, but make sure you go through the attendance check. It's worth, this, this time the rewards are really good, so uh, it's worth doing. All right, so now the Crystal Chest event is here. From July 8th to August 4th, hunt monsters within your level range to obtain crystal chests. If you open them, you can get firepower coins, ice cream pops, very special sundays, and one hour penguin metamorphosis potions, and one day popsicle face equipment. And you, so the melon popsicle, chocolate and strawberry and watermelon popsicles are back. Those are my probably my favorite items in the game because they're just so awesome. It's like you just walk around eating a popsicle all day. So anyway, I'm looking forward to that. It's just a, and then I assume the firepower coins, there's gonna be a firepower shop and you can use your coins to get stuff there. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the default character slot expansion. So now, instead of having three character slots as default, you now have eight. So it's been increased from three to eight. So 
This is great, um, especially for people who are, want to switch over to a new world or something and there was only three character slots and you're really struggling. Uh, now there's eight, so there should be a lot more freedom there. I don't think I need to go into too much detail. It's pretty straightforward on the main menu screen where you can see all your characters. Now you can make up to eight characters by default, so you don't even need coupons. And they also increase the max slots that you can have to 36. So you can actually have 36 characters per world, which is pretty good. That's like some pretty good stuff there. So I'm excited for that. Okay, so this weekend is Firepower Hot Weekend. On July 11th and 12th, you're gonna receive a gift box. On July 11th, the gift box will contain 20 Firepower Coins, a Firepower Pen in the Spirit, and 200 Spell Traces on July 12th. The gift box will contain 10 fire power coins, uh, one special bonus potential stamp, and a mastery book 30. So make sure you guys log in on the weekend. I think there's also a WXP event on the weekend, so make sure you guys are logging in on the weekend. Now, the Lotus Boss update. So you have to be, once again, level 190. You go in there from the scrapyard. A normal difficulty has been added, so now it's not just hard mode. And one entry per day, no more entries per week if you defeat him. So if you win, if you beat him, you have to wait a week to, uh, or till the next week to um, fight him again. That does not apply, they don't, it's not shared between normal and hard mode, meaning if you beat him in easy mode, or normal mode, sorry, you can still beat him in hard mode in the same week, so that's pretty good. And also, yeah, so you can uh, obtain an extraordinary energy coin, great ass from defeating Lotus, so you can use that to get absolute lab, absolute lab coins, and getting the best equipment in the game with absolute lab coins, so it's really worth your time. And uh, yeah, so the Absolute Lab uh, set is better than the Seawater set, or Sweetwater, Seawater, one of those two. But yes, I think it's Seawater, yeah, Seawater. It's better than that set, so it's really worth um, going out and doing that if you're level 190 and above. And it's slightly, uh, like I'm going to say a lot funded, because Lotus is a very tough boss. The next part of the update I'd like to talk about is this scrapyard. Now the scrapyard is actually for level 190 and above. So finally some high level content that actually motivates players to get to high levels. Uh, that's actually great that they're doing that. So basically um, you can um, complete, uh, you, don't, you don't have to complete the Black Heaven uh, stuff to get here. And you complete the quest, a new home from NPC one eye located in the scrapyard and throughout the quest and perform various quests five quests can, can be completed per day um, and then you can also get absol lab coins from this by trading in uh, diffusion line energy cores and uh, those can be used to actually get the best equips in the game so that's really worth your time and also the lotus boss entry is located the entrance is here so if you want to fight the lotus boss you gotta come here anyway so this is actually good the scrapyard is, is looking really nice so yeah so now the Absol Lab set equipment. This is the best equipment in the game. You can get it from doing quests in the scrapyard and also you have to fight Lotus. You have to get the uh, Diffusion Line Energy Core Grade A and the Extraordinary Energy Core Grade S. You need 50 of the A's and one of the S and you can get one Absol Lab coin and these can be traded for the 160 Absol Lab set equipment. Um, you can use the Scissors of Karma, it can be enhanced up to 15 times, and I'm going to be here, I'm gonna, uh, you can pause the video and look through, uh, the set is going to be on screen right now, and uh, you should be, if you can look for your class's weapon and see the attack and uh, also the armor and see if you, it's for you, if you like it, obviously you're going to like it, it's the best set in the game, but um, yeah, it's really, really good, so if you're 190 or above and funded, it's really worth going for to really maximize your character, so yeah, I'm probably gonna, if I if I get to 190 in the next little while, I'm going to go for that, so it's gonna be tough, it's gonna take a while, but still. Alright, so now I'm gonna be going through the skill revamps for all of the classes. Now, they did go through and uh, change up some of the skills and buff them and nerf them for all the different classes. I'm not gonna go through them all, I'm not gonna say them all, I'm just gonna show them on screen. If you wanna pause the video and look through here, you are more than welcome to. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through these skills here and you can pause the video.
Okay, so there is a lot of system changes. Now I'm not gonna go through all of them, I'm just gonna highlight the really important ones that are gonna affect you guys. Um, so now EXP can be obtained when requiring, or when um, EXP can be acquired when defeating an elite boss. I'm really excited for that because it actually make, makes you motivated to hunt down those elite bosses, get the items, and also they give EXP. So um, another little thing, Monster Park has been removed from the quick move menu and been added to the dimension mirror. Uh, so dimension mirror will now open, okay, whatever. Um, and yeah, so now also with the Black Heaven quest, you can repeat the uh, acts. So you can repeat act one to six or whatever it is, act one to, act one to six, is there six? I think there's six. So you can repeat act one to six. Um, some of the Star Force field areas have been changed and the danger, the danger zone taxi and L map can be now be used to get to the dead mine entrance. So that's pretty good. No more going through those really high level banes to get to Zakum. So you're, you should be okay with that. All right, so second last one thing I wanna talk about is the return of Korean Folktown and the Mush Mom. So from July 8th to September 1st, you can go to Korean Folktown and experience some nostalgia, do some quests there, and also do some fun stuff. And then also in Korean Folktown, you can defeat the Mush Mom and get a reward available once per day per character. So the Mush, so you can also just go, you can go through some nostalgia and get some decent rewards there. It's uh, pretty good stuff. All right, so the last, but definitely not least event I would like to talk about is the 100 and then some event. Now from July 8th to September 1st, characters between level 100 and 149 can accept the quest and you'll get a pendant of the spirit uh, with a 30 day duration. If a character between, in this time frame, between level 100 and 149, like before the start of this time frame, I think, or no, you just have to, if you're like level 100 to 149, if you level up to 150 within this time frame, you get the following rewards. A kinship ring, 14 day duration. I haven't uh, seen exactly the stats on that yet, but uh, um, then you get a one day, two times EXP special coupon. You get a hyper teleport rock. You get a uh, 10 armor bypass key permanent, uh, 30 days once applied. Uh, 10 weapon bypass key permanent, 30 days once applied. You get a VIP face coupon, a VIP hairstyle coupon, a VIP hair color coupon, and one of the following random rewards. You get one of these. You get a white angelic blessing ring that lasts 30 days, a royal face coupon, royal hair coupon, uh, two, two, 20k maple points, 100% unique potential scroll, and an or an Absolab weapon box. Now, I'm I would love to um, I would love to get any of these rewards except for the royal face and royal hair coupon. Not that I don't like them, I just feel like the uh, the other four are a lot more helpful. Even the white angelic busting ring, I, I think I would want to get one of the three ones at the bottom. So we'll see with the with the shade class that I'm going through right now with that series. We'll see when I get to level 100. I probably will within this time frame. And we'll see uh, what we get from this because I plan to take that series to level um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to 160 or 150 or even 170, 180. I haven't decided yet, so we'll decide then. But anyway, this is what I'm mo second most excited for. I'm most excited for the AP and SP reset scrolls. But anyway, overall, great update. I'm excited for it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys hit that big subscribe button. And 